people see things others don't. Rats are guilt. Insects red. Has anyone seen Cassandra? Oh. There she is. Hey friends, this is Tig in with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Piper, starring Elizabeth Hurley. Now this is a horror movie. I think it falls into the category like Poltergeist, uh, Omen, or Exorcism or something like that, right? It's about demons and monsters or what have you. And what I find so funny about these type of movies is they love to bring the devil in. They love that character, the devil, even though they swear up and down they don't believe it, but they love bringing that in when it comes down to these type of movies. But you know, the, the solution to this stuff is never find God. It's nev that's never the message, right? But they, it, instead they decide to fight the devil with like knives, forks, and stakes and things of that sort, right? They're not, I hate you devil, I hate you devil, and the devil just about to go away or something like that, I guess, you know. But you know, finding God in these movies, that's, that's something they will never ever do. Now it's been a slow week when it comes down to a lot of these trailers, so I've been skipping over a lot because frankly they just don't look that interesting but i decided to do it because i do like elizabeth hurley usually she'll do like really sexy roles but i think this is going to be something different something that she don't normally do so i find that in itself kind of interesting okay so and i like horror movies hey i like horror movies so i don't have a problem with it so and like i said it's a beautiful day and i want to go ahead and do a reaction to a movie and this might be something interesting and i'm hoping that's the case okay all right let's go ahead and get into this reaction but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it It's our new home. When you freshen up, I'll show you around your new school. It's a present. Look, Amy, the Pied Piper. I miss my friends. Look on it. I don't know if you know about the story of the Pied Piper. I'm gonna talk about it after the video, okay? All right, let's continue. Chance to make new ones. Quiet. There will be consequences. Three, two. Welcome to our school, Mrs. Hines. Please, proceed. Why did we actually come here? I chose the best option for us. Let's leave it at that, okay? Nighty night. Amy? What have you done? Ooh. You've been marked as a medium for someone else's penance. You will see things mm. others don't. Oh. Rats are guilt. Ugh. <laughs> uh, that grosses me out that really really grosses me out i hate pests i hate ugh, ugh, ugh. has anyone seen cassandra oh, there she is oh no cassie said that she knew she was going to die because of something bad her parents did you've seen him who the piper seeks out those who have gotten away with crime oh Punish them by taking away their children. When all fingers have bled, she'll be fully under the spell. Unless, unless you pay the piper. Mm. Huh? <laughs> How big a sacrifice are you willing to make? I want to confess. I found a stash. You don't know what you're messing with. All right, we just reacted to Piper, starring Elizabeth Hurley. Now, I had a feeling that this was going to be hard. I mean, it says it on the title of the horror movie, okay? So it's, it's, that's how I know, okay? But uh, I mentioned that there's a story behind the Piper, okay? The Pi Piper. Now, you, you heard the saying goes, you have to pay the Piper, okay? That's a bad thing, okay? If you don't pay the Piper, 
then there's a problem. Now, back in the day when I used to grow up with a lot of fairy tales, a lot of stories, they weren't like Disney, okay? They usually end in a tragic way to teach you a lesson about life. That's how fairy tales used to be. But you know, now they pretty much made it into propaganda, into everybody always having a happy ending and all that kind of stuff. The thing with the Pied Piper was, uh, this this village, if, if you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going by my memory because I haven't heard the story for years. Uh, but the um, this village had a problem with like rats or something like that, right? So one day this man come into town, uh, he, was, he was a piper, he was a Pied Piper. He said, look, I'll get rid of all your rats if you give me money, you know, you pay me for it. Okay, and they agreed because they didn't want the rats in the city, right? Because they couldn't get rid of these rats, all right? So they wanted to get rid of them. So the Pied Piper did what he said he was going to do. I think he ran the rats into the ocean or something like that, and memory serves. But he got rid of all the rats, okay? So he wanted his money. So they decided to backstab him, to double cross him, man. You know what I'm saying? To throw him under the bus. They'd be like, look, nah, the rats are gone now. We're not going to pay you. So the Pied Piper was pretty pissed about this whole thing, okay? He wanted that money. He did his job. You should have just paid the Piper, okay? But you decided not to do it, right? You know the kind of stuff they do in government right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All kind of deceitful crap. But this is a lesson to tell you, right? When you don't pay the Piper, there's going to be a problem. So what happens is the Piper end up taking all their little children. He, he used his little magic pipe and took all their children away. And that was pretty much the end of the story. They, they, it wasn't that they went out and found their children and got them back. The kids were gone. I don't know where they went, but the Piper took them. <laughs> that was it. So the saying goes... Pay the Piper, man. Just pay the Joker, okay? Pay him, all right? And I'm assuming this is, um, this movie is going to be kind of based off of that. Somehow, they probably screwed this dude over in some ways, so people are going to have to pay the Piper. You saw the kids walking. Then you saw the rats. So, they, they steal him from an old story. And I used to love those stories, too, man. Even though they they um ended badly it taught you a lot about life about people and how you know certain situations i'm gonna give you a perfect example um little mermaid happy ending she got her prince and all that kind of stuff but the original mermaid it was a tragic ending i can't remember exactly how it uh, ended but it didn't end well okay but it's supposed to teach you about life about people about situations you know because you're a kid and and i believe just like the bible it's supposed to teach you the truth sometimes the truth isn't pretty sometimes the truth don't end in happy endings but we've been spoiled and lied to by disney and so many other uh movies that everybody think they deserve a happy ending but that's not always the case i mean as you can see around the world a lot of people don't have happy endings you know and all of us gonna end up dying at some point of something so it's not gonna be exactly a happy ending but afterwards if you seek jesus christ as your lord and savior you will be saved so there will be a happy not only ending but eternal life okay period but like i mentioned at the beginning of this video they never want to fight uh the demons and the monsters with with christ or what you know with god and i noticed about a lot of these horror movies they think that they can take on these uh supernatural beings by running and throwing rocks or whatever the situation is, which I find very fascinating. Instead of actually going to something, because that's the first thing, look, man, if, if I felt like my house was haunted, that's the first thing I'm going to. I'm going to the Bible. I'm going to God, okay, about it. Because I know I can't fight spiritual things. Spiritual creatures, you cannot fight with sticks and stones. You just can't, man, okay? So you got to go, you got to fight spirit with spirit, and God is spirit. So that's where they should go with it. It would be more realistic if they did that. But instead, they continue to be, you know, they think they can fight these things with harsh words and, you know, or whatever. Use more witchcraft to fight witchcraft. Witchcraft, okay? That's basically where they go. If the devil doing something, do uh, find some tool of the devil to defeat the devil kind of a thing, right? It never go to God. It just do that. But that's what I noticed about a lot of these things. Except for, like, um, what you call it again? Except for the exorcism they actually got priests to fight the devil in that so that makes sense to me and that's the reason why i think that movie was more realistic than anything else because i do believe in demons i really do i believe in spiritual creatures i believe god could god is spirit so i believe in these things right not the way they portray it in these movies but i do believe in the stuff but like i said it looks like it, it might be an interesting movie i probably would watch it on streaming you know 
the, I noticed with a lot of these trailers, they're not coming out with anything that I, I really want to go to the movies to. You would think they would go out of, out of their way to try to get people in movie theaters because the movie the theaters are struggling right now, right? They need movies. They need the people to come to see these movies. But then the movie, they just, you know, it's just some something ain't right with the with the whole Hollywood thing. I was watching this guy. He was talking about Disney and, and Star Wars and all this kind of stuff. And like, they like to blame the audience and the fans because they're making crappy movies and stuff. And they don't seem to want to take responsibility for the bad choices that they're making. They want to blame somebody else. Unfortunately, that's our culture now. We like to blame other people for our problems. And um, I mean, sometimes outside forces do interfere with our lives, but not all the time. A lot of the time it's us. So... And I've been watching it. I've been listening to it a lot. And it seemed like they really don't care what the audience want to see, which doesn't make any sense since you're trying to put on a product product that people want. But they don't seem to find that important. No. You know, they just want to make whatever they want. They want to twist it any way they want. They know bringing, um, if you're going to use, make movies like this, now, if you're just making some axe murderer or something like that, that's different, okay? But if you're going to have some guy with magical powers or whatever the situation is, right? That falls on the lines of something spiritual, okay? So you want to fight, um, not fight fire with fire, fight um, these evil things with good, and that's God. But, you know, they don't never want to go that route, though. But either case, this looks pretty interesting. I might check it out on streaming when it comes to streaming, but not a not a theater pick for me, okay? It's just not that interesting. And as much as I like Elizabeth Hurley, I don't like her that much, <laughs> okay? All right, I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and Peace. Cassie said that she knew she was going to die because of something bad her parents did. You've seen him. Who? Piper seeks out those who have gotten away with crime. Well, Punish them by taking away their children. 